Hello. Welcome to Southern California. I got my solar batch water heater here. I wasn't able to make it this weekend, so I wanted to put water in it and test it for leaks and everything before I got out there. Last time I checked it without water in the tank, the air box was over 140 degrees. Uh, right now it just shows 120. But it's also trying to cool off, or warm up rather, uh, 40 gallons of water. Uh, temperature last night was 49 degrees. I got home this morning at 3 o'clock after work, 3 a.m. And the temperature of the tank was 70 degrees. Or actually the air temperature inside that box was 70 degrees. So this thing is holding temperature pretty well, I think, overnight. And let's lift up the lid here and see if we can get a temperature on the water now. Let's do this left-handed. Okay. Um, top of the tank is 113 degrees. That's going to be the temperature of the water coming out of there. And it's February, people. Um, what does that say? I can't read it. I got a reflection on my phone. Anyway, I want to see the bottom of the tank because I have a feeling it's layered. Um, stratification, as John Canavan tells me, stratification. Okay, that shows 89. I didn't pull the trigger yet. Okay, that shows 75 at the bottom of the tank, middle of the tank, 77 and a half, top of the tank that's not directly in the sun, 93. So basically the water is going to be coming out of there about 93 degrees. That's unbelievable, because that's shower temperature, and I didn't have to light a fire, didn't have to use any propane. Um, it's a quick shower. It's only going to use a few gallons at a time, but I did talk to John Canavan of JC Solar Homes. He's in New York, and he has 30 years of experience with this stuff. Originally, he suggested I didn't even need a, a differ, differential pressure or differential temperature switch, but uh, I explained to him how I was going to use it. You know, in the middle of desert off-grid. And he agreed that probably wouldn't be a bad idea. So what's going to happen when I'm not there in the desert, say I go out every other weekend, uh, if the tank is, say, 5 or 10 degrees warmer than the storage tank, if the solar heater is 5 or 10 degrees warmer than the storage tank, the pump will kick on until they equalize. And that, whenever I'm not around, that will continue to happen. So even though the temperature of the water may stratify, the probe to the differential temperature switch will be on the outlet tube here, and it will be on the outlet tube of the other water heater. Um, the plan right now is the water is going to come out of this tube and go to the, that's the hot side of the solar tank, it will go to the cold side of the storage tank or the rocket stove water heater, which I doubt if I'll have to use ever again, at least maybe in the winter a couple of times. This thing is working amazingly well. And from there it will go down to the uh, rocket stove and uh, and if it gets too warm, or if, if it, the water in the rocket stove gets too cool, rather, and the temperature in this tank is warmer, the pump will kick on and circulate. So the warmest water will always be equal to that of the solar water tank. It will be equal to that in the storage tank, or the rocket stove tank. So I'm excited about this. I can't believe how well it's working. Um, it's 70 degrees right now in Southern California. I got home this morning. It was um, 49. 
Um, the box temperature is 120. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, my palm tree shaded this thing till about an hour ago. So this thing out in the desert with no shade in it is most likely going to be way too hot for me. So I plan on making a shade for it as I get closer to summer or maybe next month. I'll cover half of it. Maybe with a tarp, a 50% shade tarp. So it'll still let some light in. Or some solar heat, but not much. You know, half as much maybe. But anyway, very excited. Going out this weekend. Uh, I got some muscle coming out with me. Four or five people coming along. So we're going to hoist this up on the roof of the container. And uh, hopefully get it all plumbed. I don't know. If I remember all the pipes and fittings and everything I need, I'll be able to do it. If I forget any plumbing fittings, uh, I'm not going to make a special trip. It's 30 miles each way to, to go to Home Depot from where I am. So uh, it'll have to wait till next trip. But anyway, we'll get it on the roof and we'll get it up there looking pretty anyway. All right, very excited. For the solar batch water heater is Bob. Uh, from Mission Viejo right now, California. Heading out to Bobtown this weekend. We'll update you then, alright? Thanks for tuning in.